Good evening. Welcome, everyone, and thank you for joining us at this uh, event. Uh, I am Janet Yang Rohr, and I am the Illinois State Representative serving the, uh, the 41st District, which includes Naperville, uh, includes parts of Warrenville, and also Bolingbrook. Um, we're here today because May is Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month. Um, and so, you know, I'm really excited to, to be here today with, with you all to highlight some of the things that are going on in our community. Um, but first, uh, AAPI Heritage Month, um, you know, there are lots of reasons why it was uh, chosen, why, why May was chosen, why this month was chosen. Um, and one of, um, one of it is, uh, it had a very important anniversary during the month of May. Um, it was the arrival of the very first Japanese immigrants in America. Um, so that was May 7th, 1843. And then um, another really important event that happened in May was the completion of the Transcontinental Railroad. Um, and I think as, as we recall our, our our um, you know high school history class. We had many um, you know Chinese um, laborers that that came in, in that time, and that transcontinental railroad uh, was finished uh, May tenth, eighteen sixty nine. Um, so in honor of, of AAPI Heritage Month, we have put together a panel that focuses on a lot of the local efforts around education and around advocacy um, that our AAPI uh, community is doing. And so today we have people, um, we have members and friends, supporters of the, um, the Chinese American Women in Action Group, um, also known, known as Kawa. Kawa is a, a very active organization in our community, and we are so fortunate today to be joined by members of this organization. Um, we have Nancy Chen, who is the president of Kawa. Um, we have a few others, and what I'm going to do is ask um, ask everyone to introduce themselves, and then we'll get right into it and learn a little bit more about Kawa. So um, first, uh, Nancy, if you wouldn't mind just talking a little bit about yourself, about how Kawa came to be, um, and and just uh, just give us a, a little bit detail about your your background and how you're involved with the community. Thank you, Janet. Um, <clears throat> it's a great pleasure uh, to be having this opportunity to speak to your constituents and also Naperville's and <clears throat> across the uh, Chicago area. I believe I am Nancy Chen, president of Chinese American um, in action, Chinese American Women in Action. Um, let me just uh, talk a little bit about myself. Um, I have lived in Naperville for uh, 51 years. This is the 51st year. I my children were born here, um, raised my family. In fact, my children attended all the public schools, Naperville Public School 203 here from the elementary through high school. Uh, we're very proud and we love the neighborhood. Um, and uh, m about myself was that I had an opportunity to uh, get involved in public service uh, career. I served uh, US Senator Paul Simon in the 80s and 90s. And I, I also was appointed by President Clinton uh, uh, to be actually out doing outreach uh, at the White House Presidential Personnel Office. And then I ended up with my career promoting working women at the regional office of Women's Bureau U.S. Department of Labor. And so in retirement, I continue uh, to work uh, with the Asian American community and also community in Naperville. And uh, of course, you know, I recently founded, uh, last year I founded uh, Chinese American Women in Action uh, and I'll talk about that a little later. So it's great to be here. Thank you, Nancy. I'm really excited to have you here. Uh, we also have Lei So. Um, Lei, would you mind talking a little bit about your involvement with, with Kawa? Sure, uh, Janet. Uh, thank you for this opportunity and for hosting this event. Uh, my name is Lei So. I was born in China and uh, my family and I immigrated to Hong Kong when I, when I was about 12 years old. And uh, we lived in Hong Kong for about five years, and then we immigrated to the U.S. Uh, we first settled in Chicago Chinatown, and I attended high school in the north side of Chicago. Then I pursued my college uh, degree, uh, a bachelor's and master's degree. So after graduation, I started working in Naperville, and I have been in Naperville for almost 30 years. I have a son and a daughter, and they both born and raised in Naperville. 
and they also graduated from uh, Neuqua Valley High School. So I'm currently a board member and treasurer of Kawa, and I have been very busy and active with Kawa activities, like planning different uh, community events, uh, working with the Kawa youth, and also like creating and maintaining the Kawa website so people know about our activities. And I was also a past uh, board member and treasurer of a uh, Ikebana um, school chapter in Chicago. And I will talk more about our program later. Thank you. That's great. Um, uh, how about I pass it on to Rich? Uh, Rich, you are a, a friend and a supporter of Kawa, right? Yes, I am, Janet. Um, my name is Rich Lowe. I'm a professional artist and a resident of uh, Naperville for 32 years. I've been a supporter of Kawas from the get-go. Um, Nancy asked me to do a logo for the organization, and um, without hesitation, I always uh, uh, back uh, Nancy, whatever she wants, uh, because she's always been in my court. So um, as I'm investigate what she's doing, I find that her mission and philosophy is much aligned with mine. That's to elevate the profile of Chinese Americans. And under the leadership of Nancy, this organization is making a great stride in less than two years. And I am so proud to be um, a supporter of Nancy and, and colleagues. Yeah, and, and I'm really excited. I think we're going to go into a little bit more detail on, on some of the, the work you've done with Kawa. Um, I've been lucky enough, to, as part of Kawa and, and other things, to be able to see your work um, and see some of the books you've made. And it, it is really beautiful stuff. So I'm really excited to be able to get, get into that here. Um, you know, Kawa is an organization for, for everyone, for for all ages, too. And and so um, maybe, Alexandria, if I uh, pass it to you, if you could tell, tell us a little bit about um, your involvement and, and um, your, your background. Yeah, so hi, my name is Alexandria Tang and I'm a recently graduated senior from Naperville North High School. I'm currently a co-chair of Kawa's youth chapter, Kawa Youth, and I joined Kawa to get more involved within the Asian American community and create change as a young activist. During my senior year, I was a co-president of my high school's Asian Student Association, better known as ASA, which is a club focused on bringing together and the NHS's Asian American student community and educating others about Asian culture. In other words, um, like that club offers an inclusive community for my peers and me to value the heterogeneity within our school students. And these connections that this club fosters like, are really critical for realizing and forging our own unique identities with a support system to encourage us. So I've been really involved with that club lately. Um, in my past few years of high school. And lastly, I'm also on the Board of Asian Youth Arts, which is a student-run nonprofit which organizes art exhibitions to display works by Asian American artists to celebrate the talents of the Asian American artist community. That's awesome. And uh, congratulations on your, your recent graduation. Um, I'm sure we will get into a lot of like, your future plans and how you plan to take this work into um, kind of your, your next phase. So looking forward to that. Um, but first, maybe uh, Nancy, could could you maybe go a little bit more into depth into telling us, you know, just just what inspired you to, to found Kawa and um, maybe a, a little bit about the mission and the history on, on the organization? Yes, I'm very happy to share. Um, as everyone knows that uh, during the pandemic, uh, there was an uh, increasing rising of anti-Asian uh, racism and violence. Um, and uh, for people, who you, you hear people uh, that the violence, particularly against Chinese Americans and particularly women. And you often hear people to yell that uh, Asian Americans or Chinese Americans say, go back to China or go back home. And so here, Asian Americans have been in our country for 150 years, and we are still being seen as foreigners. And so th this sense that we are still, we still don't feel that we belong and people don't feel we belong. This is one of the factors that we started. And let me also mention that at the same time in 2021, Illinois legislature, and thanks to you, Jenna, you were part of a co-sponsor, 
passed the, uh, a law requiring the teaching of Asian American history in all Illinois public schools. So with those two reasons, uh, you know, the, the, the concern about anti-Asian racism and wanting to promote, help promote teaching Asian American history, that a group of Chinese American women uh, like Lei So and other board members, we got together to say, we need to give ourselves a voice. We need to give women a voice to uh, stake our claim, to really increase um, our visibility and to be recognized and ultimately to show that we belong here in, in Naperville as well as in our state, in our country. And so we got together and met and then planned and we finally began our organization a year ago. In fact, this month is our anniversary of one year. We, we did a kickoff event with uh, almost 100 people attending at the uh, Naperville Municipal Center. So our mission uh, for Kawa is to empower Chinese American women and girls uh, to, uh, to engage and to promote uh, activities, a civic to participate in civic activities, community activities, and ultimately to feel that they are represented at all levels of government, nonprofit, community organizations. And how do we do that? We we set it out to do it through advocacy, um, education, networking, and mentoring to to achieve the sense of uh, empowerment and a, a sense of belonging. So this is in a nutshell what Kawa is about. Yeah, that and that, that um, really speaks to me about, uh, we, we've been here for generations now, like here, I mean, I know, I know you have three generations in Naperville. Um, we we have deep roots here, and and almost everyone here, we've been here for decades at this point. Um, and so I, I really love how you're you're taking that and and uh, creating even deeper roots with with Kawa to to make sure that that we're you know really in the community and contributing to to the community and and the fabric of um, of, of of all of us, right? Um, from here, I think that Lei, you have a um, a few slides to show to just show um, kind of what what Kawa yeah. has been up to, and just to give us a sense for just just the breadth of of things that that you have um, uh, been doing in the community, right? Right, right. Let me share my screen. Okay. Okay, so can everyone see my um, screen? Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so um, Nancy already, Nancy already talked about our mission and what inspired us to form Kawa. So I'm gonna talk about uh, what we have done to fulfill our mission. So like Nancy said, um, May marks our first year anniversary and we have accomplished a lot for in one year and, they, and that makes a, a positive impact uh, in our community. And we have partnered with the business and community leaders to organize different events. And we encourage our community members to come out and to participate in civic activities. And we also work with uh, young, I mean, high school students, engage them in our activities to develop leadership skills. So this is at a very high level of what we have done in the past year. So the first is the Kawa inauguration, and it happened last year in May in the Naperville Municipal Center. And then we have the T-Check uh, book drive and donation. And that was last year in June to September. And then um, we have the Kawa Youth Council. So we believe that having the Kawa Youth Council is so important because it's important to engage our students when they are young to volunteer and engage in civic activities. Um, and then we have our commemoration of Anime Wong and celebration of Chinese New Year uh, beginning in January of this year. And then right now is the Asian American Heritage Month. We co-sponsors uh, three events, 
with different organizations uh, to celebrate the Asian American heritage contribution and share our experience. And then in the area of civic engagement and voter registration, we believe that participating in the local election is so important because that's what makes our community strong. Um, and we conducted different virtual and in-person meet and greet to get to know our candidates running for different offices, such as DuPage County Board, uh, Neighborhood Mayor Office, and the City Council. And we also uh, partnered with uh, the League of Women Voters to uh, distribute the voting information and register voters. So now I'm gonna go show some slides about a different event. So the first one is the Kawa inauguration that was last year in May, and it was a great success. And we have like uh, more than a hundred people participated and this also provides a very good uh, chance for our community members to meet with different city officials and our civic leaders. And our speaker include Janet, and thanks for participating and speaking in speaking at our events. And we also have Patrick Kelly representing the Naperville mayor and Paul Leung, um, the city council member who spoke at our event. So after the inauguration, we started working on the T-Check uh, book donation and drive. Um, as you know, Illinois is the first state in the nation uh, to require every public uh, elementary and high school students to learn Asian American history and contribution. Uh, Kawa had a very successful book drive to support the T-Check implementation in Naperville. We raised uh, more than uh, about $7,000 in partnership with Anderson Bookstore. And we donated about or over 500 books to Naperville District 203 and 204 elementary, middle and high school. And these books were selected by our committee uh, based on uh, the American history and uh, contribution and the Asian experience. And these books are uh, really provided great resources for the library and classrooms to advance our cross-cultural understanding and build bridges. Uh, we used the uh, GoFundMe to raise funds and we were able to reach our target within two weeks. This really shows that uh, our community really uh, support teaching and learning about Asian American history and contributions. Uh, we had a great uh, celebration and reception event. It was uh, attended by school board members superintendents and our teachers, parents, and students. And we distributed our books to uh, the teachers and our superintendents at the event. We got a lot of positive feedbacks from our teachers and with thank you letters. And uh, this really make us feel good about what we did and what we accomplished for our community. For this one, I really just want to commend you on yeah. on all the work there. I mean, I just want to make sure people realize like all the different groups you're bringing together. It's the the community, it's the the schools, it's um, businesses. Um, it's really you know bringing a, a lot of people in, into this effort. And um, what what a success you had! And so congratulations. Yeah. And Thank you. If, if I yeah. can cut in here, is that if you see if the audience see the photos, you know our Alexandria Tan is there. She's one of yeah. the teachers. And these oh, yeah. teachers yes, Alexandra. presented to their two superintendents. They made their remarks uh, about why it is important to teach Asian American history in, in elementary school, in middle school, in high school. So we were just very pleased. And you can see mm -hmm. from the photo that a lot of young people uh, participate in this event. And, right. and now every library, of the public school in Naperville has a set of the books. You see the set in the wrapped up package. Every library, if you have children uh, that goes to school uh, in Naperville, they should check out those books, ask a librarian. Yeah, we donated about 10 books to each school. So, yeah. So the next event we hosted uh, was the commemoration of Anime Wong Quarter 
and the celebration of Chinese New Year. We partnered with the Naperville Bank and Trust uh, to host this event. Uh, this event uh, attracted more than like uh, 150 people. Um, they attended on a really very snowy day. And if, in fact, this was a very popular event. We, saw, uh, we sold out our tickets in two weeks. Um, Anna Mae Wong, uh, as you know, was the first Chinese American to receive um, or to appear on the US currency. And uh, she was selected by US Mint because she was a courageous advocate for Asian American actors. And she always pushed for greater representation and lead roles rather than stereotypical roles at that time. And uh, she faced, famously said that she had died a thousand times, a thousand deaths, because she was always killed in every movie she was in. But she resisted um, the stereotypical roles and she uh, fought for a fair representation uh, for all, for, a, uh, for all the uh, Asian American actors. Uh, we show, during the event, we show a, a video about Anna Mae Wong's life and her contribution. And we also have uh, performances from our local Chinese students. And also thank you, uh, Rich, for uh, creating this beautiful artwork <laughs> and uh, for donating to Kawa. So I think this was a great event because people were able to learn about Anime Wong. And also they received a uh, Anime Wong quarter in the red envelope as the Chinese uh, New Year tradition. And we all get to celebrate Chinese New Year with your friends, neighbors, and city officials at the same time. So we feel very happy about it. I, I wonder if you wouldn't mind sharing the story. I, I, I was at this event and got yeah. to hear the story, but um, yeah. you know, I, I feel like one of the one of the coolest programs the federal government has um, is is what they've done with their their quarters and putting um, yeah. different designs on it. And the Anime Wong um, quarter has been one of the most popular ones. And so it was it was basically sold out, right? When yeah. And and so you you have Congressman Bill Foster there. Can you talk a little bit about how you worked with him on, on this event? I think Nancy worked with him because when we tried to get the quarter for everybody, for all our community members, it was sold out. And then Nancy contacted uh, Bob Foster's office. Right, Nancy? Yes. Uh, I mean, Bill well, Foster's office. Well, yeah, well, because uh, Congressman Foster serves on the finance and banking committee. Yeah. So I knew that he, he may have better access to the U.S. Mint. So I called up uh, his uh, chief staff, Hillary Stank, mm -hmm. and said, can you help? So she made some calls and with the Washington office. And eventually what they did was that they got news from US Mint say, uh, like a couple of weeks later, they say, uh, the coins are now uh, out again, available. Hurry up and go on the online to order. <laughs> so that's what we did. And we ordered them <laughs> and quickly. And that is why that, yes, we, we thank him for his uh, speedy service for his constituents. Um, but it, uh, Janet, you were right that it was mm -hmm. very popular. And that is also the reason why so many people came because they right. won that quarter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah. again, like another event, you're bringing the community get together, like um, bringing businesses get together and, you know, you're making sure your your elected officials are are definitely serving you and um, bringing uh, rich low you know local artists mm -hmm. and it's just so many things that that you're coordinating and, and um, making sure that that they're all contributing to the to the community to, to share with everyone and, and I, I love it mm -hmm. yeah so right now is the Asian American Heritage Month uh, we co-sponsored three events. So um, so we also help select speakers uh, for these community events. So for the District 203 event, Nancy talked about our Kawa contribution to the Teach Act. Um, and for the Embrace Naperville, um, we had six panelists who talk about uh, their experience living in Naperville. And one most important thing is for the event, uh, Kawa drafted the first proclamation for Asian American heritage 
for AAPI Heritage Month in the city of Naperville. And it was signed by uh, Mayor Scott Hurley and it was read to the audience during the event. So that was amazing. Nancy, do you have anything to add to this? Um, I, well, I could just say that the, the, the Naperville event is the really from the DEI office in the, the city of Naperville, and it's part of the Embrace Naperville project. And this is the second mm -hmm. event that the city has held, but it's also in celebration of uh, the AAPI Heritage Month. And again, you know, we have almost 100 people showing up from different races. But I, what I, I I heard someone else said it, and I thought that was so true. Is that I was afraid that it would be all just Asian coming, and then we oh, would right. came to to the to the choir. But in, instead, not only we have a lot of Asian uh, Americans showing up, we have non-Asian Americans and uh, and quite a few public officials that came to listen to us. And I think that is the the most important thing is that we listen to each other and we try to understand, you know, this is part of the promoting uh, uh, the understanding of other people's culture and, and their experiences. So for that, I thought, you know, this, this was a great success. I still hear a lot of people really talking about this event. Mm -hmm. Right. So another event that we co-sponsor is the Asian Youth Art. And I think this is a great event to showcase the Asian American creativities in arts and cultures. And we had uh, about 15 artists uh, presenting their work and there was like about 50 artworks. So now I'm just gonna turn over to Alexandra to talk more about the, um, the Asian Youth Arts and also the Kawa Youth Council. Yeah, so as one of the leaders of the Asian American, the Asian American Student Association at my school, I wanted to support some underclassmen who I knew were involved with the Asian American Student Association in their efforts to start up a nonprofit. They really wanted to showcase like the artistic talents of the Asian American community, since like a lot of like the Asian American stereotype is like being good at like mathematics and like like academic subjects, but like they wanted to showcase how Asian Americans are very diverse and have diverse interests as well. So I connected them with Nancy Chen, who helped the students organize the first Asian Youth Arts Art Exhibition, which was held in late April. Some of the artists that we invited to participate in the exhibition were Kawa Youth members. So we got Kawa Youth involved that way too. And another thing that like the, the co-chairs and I of Kawa Youth have done lately is Last summer, me and my other co-chairs, Karen and Elise, created promotional videos for Kawa to call attention to its book drive over the summer. And we also worked to advertise for Kawa's book donation ceremony in September, which Lai spoke about like a few slides ago, and to encourage students within our school to read the donated books. Um, there, so the ceremony was held to celebrate like how Kawa donated books by Asian American authors to elementary, middle, and high schools within Districts 203 and Districts 204, and to ensure that our peers knew about the books and to really spread the word about the books that were in our libraries now, we contacted our school librarian who helped us to create an eye-catching book display, and we also created a slideshow to be displayed on the TVs all around our school with the book covers pictured on the slides so that students would be aware of them in our library. So Karen, Elise, and I also spoke at the ceremony about the importance of these books, since they are truly integral for Asian Americans to be represented in, since it is integral for Asian Americans to be represented in school literature. It's important for Asian American youth to read books where they see individuals who look like them. And this event was important to celebrate how Kawa helped to facilitate that. Karen and Elise and I also volunteered for Kawa's celebration of Anime Wong and her appearance on the U.S. Quarter, and we also got Kawa youth members to volunteer for the event too, and we worked by like escorting guests and handing out pamphlets, and at the art exhibition in April, sponsored by Asian Youth Arts and Kawa Youth, we helped to spread the word about the event, and we also assisted like, as Kawa Youth, we helped with planning the logistics of the art exhibition itself. I hope to continue this work in the future as I matriculate into U of I Urbana-Champaign and get involved with the many Asian American organizations they have there. 
And before my co-chairs and I leave, we will pass down our role in Kawa to a few rising high school seniors who actually also turn out to be the leaders of Asian youth arts who will carry on our work. That's amazing. And I really love um, especially how, you know, you're, 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 you're speaking to stereotypes and acknowledging them and, and really turning them on their heads too, right? Um, which I think is actually a really good segue into into Rich. I mean, Rich, you're a you're a, a working successful artist. Um, I mean, talk about turning stereotypes and and kind of preconceived notions on their heads. Um, would you mind maybe sharing a little bit about how um, you've been involved with Kawa? Uh, yes, yes, I will. Um, first of all, under the leadership of Nancy, uh, this organization is so strong. Um, she had the experience. Um, she knows how to work a room, uh, as we all know, and that when she approached me about this um, organization, I didn't know much about it, but I did came off um, June of last year, I completed a mural in the west um, side of the building of the Chinese American Museum in Chicago. And all along, I've been writing books. Uh, my agent had pushed me to writing more about my experience of growing up in Chinatown. So from the success of the mural, I realized I had platforms. I had platform to um, talk about our culture and preserve the traditions by using my artwork. And um, so in many situations, uh, for me uh, personally, I didn't think that I have a platform into the mirror. Uh, I realized during um, the time, the 39 days I spent in Chinatown, I was going back in time in some ways, meeting all my friends. They all came to mural sites. The experience was nothing like I've ever had. And I realized how powerful my art could be in uh, promoting our culture. So with Kawa, um, their mission is something that was lacking when I was growing up in Chinatown. Uh, during the 60s, it was pretty rugged, uh, as we all know, um, uh, the civil rights movement, uh, the riots. But I never thought that someday that I may have a voice in helping uh, us move further along into the timeline of being Americans and be proud of our country. Um, I have had many um, racist uh, experience when I was a child, um, but not so much anymore. I just think that our country has came a long way and it was some to continue to grow to help support our, our mission. And with Kawa, I think that uh, Nancy just beginning, I think her ambition um, or tenacity would uh, make this a very powerful organization in promoting our culture. And I'm so proud to be part of this. And as I said, Nancy has been my corner and I would be in her corner for the rest of my life. And um, just wanna talk a little bit about the books. Um, so my agent had always pushed me into writing about my, a little bit, even though the fictional, about my experiences. And I'm on my ninth book, and it's gonna be about, a little bit about my family living in Chinatown, even though fictionally, and also settle on one art style. We decided that um, by writing about my culture, I think we should establish a style that children can recognize that this is coming from this one author. And the book has become sort of phenomenon for me because um, 12 years ago, I don't even think I can write an email without uh, having issues. Um, through the last uh, years, um, I have grown into a writer. Not a writer for novels, but writer for uh, children. So I think that I am still growing and still exploring uh, ideas how to do this. And I think um, Nancy provide a great reference where I can go with this. 
That, that, that's amazing. And can you tell us be, behind you, I see a, a few pieces of art. Are, are those yours? Yes. Um, I Since 2017, I've been working out of my house. Um, I had a fire in my downtown studio and uh, I lost my lease. And for the first time in 36 years, I'm in Naperville working. And I didn't think I was going to be, I, I don't think I would have been successful because just never worked at home. I always thought uh, going to work uh, was a philosophy I want to have. I want to go get up in the morning and go to work. So for the last five years, I have developed um, a routine of working out of the house, you know, um, along with my uh, commission work from the advertising agencies. Um, I developed a series of um, categories of um, artwork that's for uh, private collections. And now I start licensing my books. Um, one of my books is uh, being translated in Korean and also signed a contract with uh, Holiday House, which is an imprint of um, uh, Simon Schuster uh, to make uh, one of the books, uh, Chinese Kai Festival, a interactive uh, audio book for school. So they're going to sell it to the school uh, in the United States and Canada. Mm -hmm. So um, this this amazing uh, journey that I'm, I'm in right now, and I'm still growing as an artist. And, um, I, you know, growing up in Chinatown, it wasn't easy. Uh, my parents uh, worked hours in low paying jobs uh, with with, uh, without knowledge of our culture and traditions, but they kept the family together. And I think that's very important for me moving forward in how to conduct myself, how to um, guide my children, uh, even though they're grown now, they don't need my guidance, but uh, I'm hoping to be more a role model to other um, Chinese who wants to go to into the creative field, which is not often looked upon as a, a viable uh, career, as you know, that Chinese American um, communities are very pragmatic and it's about making money, it's about do, doing something. But I realized that's almost an idealized um, American dream, right? American dream has come to many forms. And I think we're uh, trained when we're uh, younger that that's the ideal, ideal American dream. So I wanna change that. I wanna be able to uh, show that there are other routes and to become uh, great Americans. Yeah, I, I I love that, and that is um that 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 is so so amazing that you can be a uh, a mentor and a role model for for people um, for for Asian Americans. Um, I I I know exactly what you mean in terms of um, non traditional career paths because I, I I know my parents still are puzzled as to why I'm doing what I'm doing. So well, you're doing great, by the way. <laughs> um, uh, and you know your your books, your your children's books that I, that I've seen and read, um, they are beautiful. Um, and I I think what we will do, make sure to do is. Um, within our resources like with with this um video we'll make sure to put the links to those um to, to kawa of course but also um, some of your books so that people can can also see um the the, the beauty of, of those illustrations and, and the stories too um i want to you know throw a an idea out there for you all to react to um you know we're, we're getting some comments in the broadcast and one they're they're very nice um you know I, I, I wonder what, what your thoughts are on, on this one. It's it's very complimentary, you know, hats off to the Kawa board um, and and for all the work that you're doing and serving the community and, and carrying out your, your mission. Um, this is the part I'd, I'd love for you to react to. Um, they say your, your visibility is perhaps in contrast with the traditional Chinese kind of stay behind the scenes customs. Um, and, you know, they're, they're thanking you all for, for raising awareness of Chinese Americans and, and the, their heritage and contributions. Um, but, you know, what, what do you think about that? Like you, you really are, I mean, you, you um, four are really putting yourself out there right now, right? Um, here and in so many other events. Is that something that you consciously set out to do to, to get out from behind the scenes? 
Well, let me uh, first ask you a question. But before I answer the question, I just want to give another shout out to Rich. I'm the biggest fan of Rich Lowe. And he, he has done so much. And his story it, it's a it's really a, a, a very heartwarming story of, of struggle and triumphant. But there are a lot of stories like that and also among Chinese Americans. And this is one of the things that we would like to promote, you know, our contributions, our experiences. So let me answer the question. Uh, I just introduced myself, having worked for public official, having almost 30 years of public uh, uh, service career. I wasn't like that when I started, okay? I was the shy one and not really wanting to just like most typical Chinese Americans, you know, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't be the first one to raise my hand uh, to talk like right now. <laughs> okay. Um, but you learn and you learn this is the American way, you know, I mean, you have to learn how to uh, speak up um, and you have to know, learn how to express yourself. And so, of course, after 30 years, my, my public service experience and my retirement continue to be active. I do see that we continue to need that. We still have to encourage Chinese Americans, whether men or women, to come out, you know, give their voice to speak up. And uh, otherwise, we would continue to be invisible. And this is the reason that why I do it. I may not really fully like feel uh, that I have to do it or, 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 or this is natural for me, but I learned it. To, I learned to do it. Anybody else? I think Janet, you brought up a very good point. I mean, being speak out in front of people is really not how I was trained. You know, I mean, growing up in a Chinese family, we just basically stayed behind. And also, you know, when I was getting my degrees in college, I was like in a technical degree. So we don't know, we don't learn. I mean, we don't usually speak up and go in front of the people. So, but, um, but working in Kawa does give me a lot of opportunity and I'm still learning every day and especially learning from Nancy to be able to speak up in front of people. <laughs> so yeah, I'm learning. So I'm, you know, so there's a lot to do, it's a lot to learn still so, to be able to speak up, you know, speak my mind in front of people. Mm -hmm. And Nancy is a master of that. She yeah. also teaching me like to speak up. <laughs> I never, I never talk about myself. Nancy pushes me, say, talk about yourself, talk about yourself. And uh, that's, once again, it's our upbringing, you know, um, work hard and, uh, and don't rock the boat. And that's the theory. I think it's difficult for me too, being someone who's like naturally introverted. But I think that like this, like the steps that I've been like taking with Kawa have really helped me to overcome that. And especially like, joining this pa this panel tonight is like really helping me overcome like my fears I suppose of yeah. doing something. you're doing a great job thank you yeah we are so glad that you're joining us at Alexandria so um thank you for for doing that uh but I I know that um interacting or, or being involved with Kawa. Um, you don't have to be on a panel. <laughs> there are lots of things you can do. So maybe tell us about if um, if someone is interested, how they can get involved and sort of maybe some of the, the events that, that you have upcoming that they can get involved with. Yeah, well, so, okay, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we normally, like, if you want to get involved with Kawa, um, we do a lot of like volunteering for events that Kawa sponsors and like advertising for those events and just getting like people like our age to come because like you kind of want like a diverse audience to be there um, in order to get more like involvement within the community and to get involved with Kawa. Uh, well, we recently are like uh, we have like an event coming up on the 11th, which is like to celebrate uh, on June 11th, which is to celebrate like the co-chairs moving on and like graduating and to mm -hmm. welcome like the new co-chairs. So we're also trying to work on like getting people to join um, like the leadership team of Kawa who are like, or not join the leadership team, but like join Kawa youth who are from like outside District 203 because we mostly have like District 203 students involved right now. Mm -hmm. So because like if we have more people at like um, 
like more of the schools within Naperville, then we can definitely get a lot more outreach and it would be easier for people who are interested to join because I know that there are people in like districts 204 who would be interested in joining. Mm -hmm. Now, what are the, the events that are coming up that um, people can look forward to? Yeah, so the, I don't think I ever said the name, but the round table is on the 11th oh. and that's at the 95th Street Library. Mm -hmm. and. Anyone's welcome to come. Uh, Lei, were you going to say something? Oh, I was talking about thinking about, uh, you know, since we are a small organization, we do need help. We do need people to volunteer, you know, like, for example, uh, planning different events and also supporting our events or, you know, social media or, you know, um, writing grants. So if anyone wants to help, and volunteer and they could go to our website and um, find out what kind of activities they are and also um, uh, tell us what they're interested in volunteering. So we do have our website, um, www.kawali.org so they can find out more information and sign up for a volunteering form. Thank you. And, and I, I just wanna add what uh, Alexandria is saying and they, uh, uh, Representative Yang Roar, you, you mentioned about uh, what's coming up on the event. And so I would just further explain about the June uh, 11th. And the June 11th meeting is, uh, we call it the first round table for Kawa Youth. And this really is the outgrowth mm -hmm. of Kawa Youth's activity in the past year. But we know uh, the three coaches are, they are seniors, they, gra they, they already graduated as of last week. And they're moving on to college, and we need uh, successors. And mm -hmm. luckily, I saw that how active some of the juniors uh, uh, at, at the art exhibit that uh, that um, someone like uh, Annabelle Chang and uh, Audrey Yu, they were all very organized. I mean, this is the the exhibit was practically student led. We we helped with a little advice and and getting them the space. But they did it all. So I thought, well, these would be the great leaders that we can really help and to grow. And also taking this opportunity, this is our second year now, to grow the, the youth mm -hmm. council. So that's why we're organizing the meeting first to celebrate the graduation of the three co-chairs. And then also to really bring all the students who are coming together and with adults to, uh, you know, I was hoping some of the parents would, would also um, to join, we, our invitation goes to them and our board members. And so it would be a roundtable to plan. What do we? What do you want to do? What What does Kawa Youth Council mm -hmm. want to accomplish for this coming year, from 2003 to 2004? And we could lay out the plans, and then with our help, we 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 can execute the plans. And I know the very first project would probably be the art exhibit because they already say that was the first one. Mm -hmm. and so it's going to be right. an annual one, and but others, you know, we can plan uh, webinars about leadership development. We could talk about mental health, uh, but this is going to be student-led. You know, we as adults are just going to be there to help them, and especially the co-chairs, their seniors now, they could probably give advice to the younger people too. So that's one event we are planning, and we are hoping that this become an annual, actually year-long uh, program. And the second one that I'm really excited to report is consistent with what Kawa's mission that we will continue to promote Chinese Americans' accomplishment, contribution, and to share our culture, our experiences. We are have, going to have an event on November 6th. We are inviting a Chinese American author and documentary uh, filmmaker, Curtis Chin, uh, who is based in Los Angeles. He has written a book, written a book called Everything You Want to Learn, uh, Everything I Want to, I, I Learn, I Learn in a Chinese Restaurant. It's a memoir about his growing up experience in Detroit. His parents own a restaurant, popular restaurant. There he met all sorts of people, civil rights leaders, gay activists. He himself uh, is, is also gay. And so he also talked about that, that experience and the civil rights. And also it coincided with uh, his growing up period is uh, the Vincent Chen murder and trial. So it would be a great experience. And once again, uh, Janet, as you mentioned, I am going to bring 
Naperville, all Naperville residents to come to hear mm -hmm. the voice. And uh, again, we are working with Naperville Bank, Anderson Bookstore, as well as North Central College, because it's going to be an answer to North Central College. So for, the, for mm -hmm. those who are listening, please uh, save the day, November 6th in the evening from 6 o'clock. And um, it, it should be a great experience, once again, sharing our experience, Asian American experience with everybody. Um, so those are the two big events that I can say that that come in, you know, in the next few months. That's great. We'll definitely put that information um, on our site too, um, and and put that book, um, you know, with with this this uh, Facebook Live mm -hmm. because um, you know just in case anyone wants to do some pre reading <laughs> for yeah. for the event. Uh, okay, the book is not come out until October. Oh, so okay. okay. But however, we will be doing promotion. You know, and uh, we'll send you the flyer once it's out. You know, mm -hmm. we've been working. It, it is still early, but in fact, I just got a confirmation for the day from North Central College. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's that's amazing. Um, you know, we have uh, again, you know, just some very nice words from from our audience, just thanking you for elevating the work of Asian Americans and Chinese American uh, women and youth. Um, and so they, they thank you um, very profusely for for all the work that you've done there. Um, you know, as we wrap up, is there anything else that you want to make sure uh, people know about Kawa or about how to get involved or, you know, any, anything else you want to really emphasize? I thought I, pre I I kind of briefly touched upon that before. So if people wanted to get involved, they can visit our website, uh, kawaleaks.org. And from there, they can sign up for our newsletter or uh, sign up for volunteering activities. So, or they can send us email directly, uh, info at kawaleaks.org. And that's very important. We yeah. do need volunteers. And we need people to come up because our mission is to encourage and empower uh, women as well as actually men too to come out and to, to mm -hmm. give voice to our community. So it's either you do it through Kawa or you uh, work with us or, or if you have other events that you think that would fit into our mission, we'd be happy to work with other organizations uh, just like we have been working mm -hmm. with a lot of organizations here in Naperville because it is important that one of the uh, our mm -hmm. mission is to build bridges to bring right. people together and to feel that so we feel that we belong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. And um, you know that those building bridges is so important. And you know, I know a lot of uh, so much of, of Kawa is just people deciding that that you needed to do something, right? Mm -hmm. And I think this um, definitely letting people know that that you are open and you you want to talk with them and you want to work with them is is so important. Um, and I, I think will really inspire people to to act as well. Mm -hmm. um, so so thank you again for for all that work. Um, you know, I, I I think I say this a lot in my role, but it's only I I, I do it because it, it's true. Um, it, it is an incredible privilege to be able to highlight your work. Um, there is so much that goes on in our community, um, so many ways to contribute, so many um, ways to to enrich people's lives, and um, you are really doing some some great work to give people um, just more opportunities to learn about people around them and, and the cultures and the different ways that, that make, um, you know, uh, Naperville, the 41st District, and, and just generally our, our community um, what it is and, and a, a great place to live. So, so thank you again for that. Um, and and thank you, just generally, thank you, Nancy, um, Alexandria, Le, um, and, and Rich, uh, th for for the time that you spent with us today. Um, you know, your your passion really showed through, and and the exciting work that you're doing for the community is 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 really great. And our office, um, I and my office are are just so excited to continue collaborating with you in the future. Um, and we'll make sure to, to keep in touch um, and make sure that we do our part to let the community know what, what's going on and what you're doing. So, um, well, thank you, thank you uh, Janet. Uh, I, if I could say uh, just a few words, is that first, I thank you for hosting this uh, to share 
Kawa, with your constituent, with the audience. This is just wonderful. But what uh, one of the things I did not say in Kawa's mission, when we talk about empowering Chinese American women and encourage people to engage, it is because we want to see, one of the things that we want to see is more people like you to be uh, a rep as representative for not just Chinese American, for your constituent, and that we like to see more Chinese American women, men, Asian American to be at all levels of government office holders. And this is also one of the things, although we are a nonprofit, nonpartisan organization, but we encourage everyone to participate, to engage. And so thank you very much for giving us this opportunity uh, to talk about Kawa, and I hope your audience will contact you or contact us uh, to help us uh, grow this organization. Absolutely, um, and I appreciate the, those kind words. Um, and so if anyone does wanna reach out, uh, the way to, to, to reach my office is um, info at repyangroar.com, or you can always co uh, contact or call our district office. Um, our number is 630-296-4157. Um, Laird, Nancy, do you wanna give your Kawa's uh, contact info one more time too? Hey, do you wanna give them? Well, we have a Facebook page that Nancy is maintaining, um, but for our website is kawalead.org. Um, also, you can send us email, info at kawalit.org, kawalit, C-A-W-A-L-E-A-D.org. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so please check our Facebook. It's just Chinese American Women in Action. If you type in that, you'll see our Facebook. And we post more current mm -hmm. events or comments or sometimes news articles that, you, uh, that we would like to share and make sure we are also in the process of uh, updating our uh, website that would be easy, more friendly. Um, but anyway, please to check out that. Um, okay, so. excellent. Um, and so for, for anyone else, uh, please, and, and for everyone else, pl please join us um, for, for Kawa events or for events with the 41st District. Um, every single month, we hold a coffee and conversation. Um, the next one will be on June 24th, and you can always always find more information on the website, uh, which is repyangroar.com. Uh, next month in June, we are also hosting a town hall for uh, a real deep dive into legislation um, on budget and other important um, pieces of uh, legislation laws that have passed in uh, in this session, which um, I am going to head to Springfield tomorrow morning, bright and early, uh, mm -hmm. to pass a budget, and I will, um, you know, report back to the district on on all the the good things that that we're doing for the state of Illinois. Uh, so again, thank you, everyone, and um, have a wonderful day. Thank you to the audience members for for joining us. Thank you. Thank you, Janet.